cryptocurrency in general doesn't matter which one you're talking about bitcoin ethereum ftx we've got terra luna classic all of these have been on a wild ride over the last couple of days and a lot of this started a lot of this sell-off started when binance announced that they would be liquidating their ftt tokens or their ftx holdings and that caused a major run on the bank or a run on the ftx cryptocurrency exchange where customers withdrew over five billion dollars in a single day now of course this caused ftx to spiral out of control very similar to what we saw with terra luna classic just a few months ago but we've got sam bankman freed now apologizing to the world and trying to make it better so we're gonna go through that apology here but i also want to i want to talk about this if you are in ftx do your due diligence if you have anything on the ftx platform sam is going to tell you that it's okay these ceos these guys are very convincing but you need to make that determination for yourself is it safe i don't know which we need to decide this before you lose your cryptocurrency there as well. So let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. And $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange, that is apparently still available. You've got KuCoin down there, and the other one you've got is, is Binance. So make sure to check both of those out. If you guys look at a buy, sell, trade, you got leverage opportunities on both of them. So make sure to check KuCoin and Binance out if you want. But let's just jump into this because we've got a lot to go over about Sam Bankman Fried, the CEO of FTX, and his apology to the world. Now, this might make you feel a little better. It might not, but the entirety of this, uh, I guess, the, the point of this is to say that if you are still on a centralized exchange, just be careful, man. They are dropping like flies left and right. It, it seems like one after another is going bankrupt, and I'm telling you right now, don't get caught in that situation. Nonetheless, Sam says, number one, I'm sorry. That's the biggest thing. I screwed up. And should have done better. Oh, thanks, Sam. Uh, since we got that out of the way, I've also been communicating very or er, communicating more very recently. Transparently, my hands were tied. They always are, man. They've, nobody can ever discuss anything during the possible Binance deal. I wasn't particularly allowed to say much publicly, but of course, it's on me that we ended up here in the first place. Yes, it is. So here's an update on how things and where things are. This is all about FTX International and on U.S. exchange. FTX U.S. users are fine. So he says at the moment, right? Don't go withdraw your money off FTX US. You're okay. FTX International currently has a total market value assets of collateral higher than client deposits, which that moves with prices, okay? But that's different from liquidity for delivery, as you can tell from the state of withdrawals being halted. Now, the liquidity varies widely from very little to much to a lot. The full story here is one that I'm still fleshing out every detail of, but at a very high level, I screwed up twice. Oh man, that was twice. The first time, a poor internal labeling of bank-related accounts meant that I was substantially off on my sense of user's margin. I thought it was way lower. My sense before, leverage was zero times. In the U.S., liquidity ready to deliver was 24 times the, a the da a average daily withdrawals. Sorry. Now, the actual thing that was happening there was that 1.7x leverage was being used, and the liquidity was 0 0.8 times Sunday's withdrawals. Ooh, so definitely not liquid at all. Now, because, of course, when it rains, it pours, we saw roughly $5 billion of withdrawals on Sunday, the largest by a huge margin. They didn't have enough money to give people. They had, they had to cancel withdrawals. They don't have enough money to give you back. And so it was off twice, which tells me a lot of things, but specifically and generally uh, that I was crap at. Uh, and a third thing, it, I'm not communicating enough. I should have said more. I'm sorry. I was slammed with, I was, he was busy. He was slammed with things to do and couldn't get around to doing it. And of course we are where we are. It sucks and that's on me. 
I'm sorry again. My gosh, this is like apology number six. Anyway, right now, my number one by pro my number one priority by far is doing right by users, and I'm going to do everything that I can to take responsibility and do what I can. Well, good. So now we're spending the week doing everything we can to raise liquidity. I can't make any promises about that, but I'm going to try and give anything I have to it if it will make it work. Nice, man. He's going to try and get people's money back. There are a number of players who we're in talks with, letters of intent, term sheets, etc. We'll see how this ends up. Every penny of that and the existing collateral goes straight to users, unless we've already covered the users, then they're going to keep it. Because at the end of the day, I was CEO, which means I was responsible for making sure that the things went well, and I ultimately should have been at the top of everything. Clearly failed in that. I'm sorry. It's like apology seven or eight. So what does this mean going forward? Well, he's not sure. He says, I'm not sure. That depends on whatever happens over the next week. But here are some things that he does know. First, one way or another, Almeida Research is winding down its trading. They aren't doing anything weird that I see on Twitter and nothing large at all. And one way or another, soon, they won't be trading on the FTX anymore. Okay, great. But that's because there's nothing left to trade. I mean, come on, they've, they've already traded and they've already lost everything. So there's nothing left to trade there, which, okay, I get it. Now, second, in any scenario in which FTX continues operating, the first priority will be radical transparency. Transparency, it probably always should have been uh, giving. Giving a, as close to on-chain transparency as it can so that people know exactly what is happening. Why in, why on earth, let's put it that way, why on earth... Are these exchanges not telling you where your money is? Why on earth do you deposit money and they send it off to their trading platforms to 50x leverage it and then lose it all and wonder what happened? What happened? We all know what happens when you make up, when you mess trades up, you lose money. And there's, we're seeing this on the scale of billions of dollars at a time. Uh, not all of the stakeholders would have hard look at the FTX governance. I will not be around if I'm not wanted. Oh, Sam's going to be stepping down if, if stakeholders don't want him around. Now, all of the stakeholders, investors, regulators, users would have a large part to play in how it would be run. Solely trust. Oh, man, nice. But all of this isn't uh, what matters right now. What matters right now is trying to do right by customers. That's it. A few other assorted comments. Uh, this was all about FTX International. FTX US, the US-based exchange that accepts Americans, was not financially impacted by this crap show. It's 100% liquid. Every user could fully withdraw. Well, hopefully they can fully withdraw. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the, here's the takeaway from this, okay? We are seeing major exchanges go down left and right. Coinbase could be next. Uh, we could have KuCoin down. We could have Binance down. You know, I don't know. And they won't tell us what they're doing with their money. You loan them this money. It's not a deposit. All of these centralized exchanges consider it a loan. You loan them this money when you deposit it on their platform, and what they're doing is going out and gambling it. Okay, simple as that. And, and when they lose it, they say, oh, what happened? What happened? Cryptocurrency is going to be going through a, a very difficult time over the next few years. I'm sure of it. You know, it, we're going to have wild regulations come into play. It, it could be good for these centralized exchanges, and it could be tough for the price of cryptocurrency. But if you're on a centralized exchange right now, it's nice because it's convenient. But if your plan is to hold, I don't know. I don't know about the safety and security of these centralized exchanges. They tell us it's good one day, and the next they tell us, well, bankrupt. Take Voyager, for example. CEO was out on Twitter saying everything was fine. 24 hours later, halt withdrawals, filing bankruptcy. This could absolutely happen to more and more exchanges. So do with that information what you will, but just know that that is what Sam Bankman-Fried is saying about FTX right now, and, and the situation is still dire. So I want to know what you guys think. Give me a give me a decent comment explaining your thoughts over the entire crypto situation over the next couple of years, and the regulation that could be coming into play. Let us know down there, and of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. You're getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord, and until the next time, hope each and every one of you have an awesome day.